Okay, welcome back. My let's play of Fallout on the PC. We've got old Taco B here. She has left the vault for the first time in her life in order to find a water chip or a uh, water something, water purification or I don't remember. It's a water chip. We ask around for a water chip. People, people will know what I mean. Uh, we helped out some people in the community of Shady Sands, killed some rad scorpions and all that. We did find the other vault, but we need a rope in order to get down into the depths. So for now, we're just wandering. Uh, we ended last time infiltrating, <laughs> infiltrating, um, besieging the raider camp here, the cons. Um... It didn't end perfectly well, and the problem is, is that I don't really have enough strength to use any of the good shit. I need four strength. I should have thought of that, but I haven't played this game in a while. It's not like we're screwed for the rest of the game or anything, but yeah. Something to keep in mind. Hey, it's Diana. She's the armorer. I should be able to barter her. Barter with her. Uh, she's got some ammo for the Desert Eagle, which I can't use. So it is what it is. I mean, really, we probably could just try and slaughter him again. And this time... If shit hits the fan, we can just leave after we kill a few. Um, and then we can heal up and come back and just trim out their numbers a little bit. Yeah, the fact that I have to take that first shot kind of sucks, and I don't really know if it's worth it. I don't know if there's any difference than me just shooting him in the face. Yikes. Hmm. Use that stim pack. Yeah, I mean, if we could snag a couple extra action points and we could just aim shot twice in a turn we'd be pretty set but even my shots to the eyes aren't uh Aren't slaughtering them. That was good. Missed. Fuck me. Oh, she critically missed and her weapon was destroyed. That's gotta suck. Use another stim. Tried throwing a knife at me and it didn't work too well. There we go.
Oh, you dumb bitch. Shoot you in the... You know. Yeah, I think this is over here. Just riddling her corpse with blood. With bullets. And blood just gushing out. It's beautiful. My parents would not have approved. Alright, we're gonna... We gotta take the combat armor. It's too fucking good not to. But, uh... Gotta dump off some of this other crap. All right, let's just save right here, because that's good progress. I like that. Take the caps, take the drugs, all that good shit. Take the ammo, because it usually sells well and it's not heavy. Take the stim. All right, and here's the other the second round. and equip the armor. Hold on. We'll get that sorted. Shoot him in the dick. We'll probably leave. Well, it depends if Garl gets involved. I think he will. Dead. Just see what's going on. Don't get too close, Ian. Oh, no. No, Ian. All right, let me try and get out of here. Might save Ian's life. All right, good. Uh, okay. From there, we can just sort of bounce around. It should heal us by moving. It didn't. But then we can just go here. Now we can't rest here. Should be able to just go... outside in the mountains. Then you rest until healed. And you slowly tick back up on your HP. But remember, we're on a time limit. And that is legitimate, so... Yeah. Now, there will be a way for us to extend that a little bit at a price. But otherwise, you want to adhere to it. Alright, good, good, good. We can continue our rampage. Oh, I was gonna get the first shot. You fuck. You dare cut me? I shoot you in the eyes. And then I hide behind my buddy. Okay. There you go. Combat over. No one heard a thing. Their bodies all decayed already, so there's just piles of shit here. Take that ammo. Take that ammo. And I'll take that ammo. Good. Now shoot this fuck in the dick. That's right. Ooh. Dead. Here comes the main man. Garl Vinland himself. Shoot him in the head. Shit. Fuck. Aim's blocked, huh? 
hide behind E and shoot him in the dick. Yeah. Collapses like a rag. Because rags are known to collapse. All right, just shoot him in the head. 30 damage. Crushing his temple. He's still alive. Crazy. Now he's not. That was easy. Yeah, aim shots, they have, you know, much higher chance of causing them to go down on the ground. And, you know, a lot of times if you hit the ground, you're pretty much done. Because uh, enemies are mostly guaranteed to hit you at that point. So, it's all good. And we got his uh, inner circle here, trying to mess us up. Shooter in the... Bot. The va the Vagine. She stimmed it up. She'll need it. Shoot her in the eyes. Yeah, hit in the eyes for five damage. My ass. Ninety two percent chance miss, so you know, XCOM, all that good stuff. There you go, Ian got her. It's a little iffy here. There we go. Doing pretty well. Uh, I don't think I would do as well without e to, uh, Ian here, but as it is, doing pretty well. Getting plenty of caps. Not a whole lot of loot because I can't carry that much. We got to see what Garl's packing. Ian's going in to finish off the last of them. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we got company. We got company. Shoot him in the dick. And flee. Ian might need my help. Well, I drew one of them off you, Ian. I'll shoot him in the head. Stim it up. Three hit points is a little low. Ian's out of ammo now. Oh my god, he just... Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, Ian. No ammo, and he's dealing with two of them. Meanwhile, I'm hoarding ammo. I'm coming. Oh, no, Ian. Oh. Jesus, he's got so much fucking HP. I'll come in here and... I'll come in here just a tad too late, won't I? Yep. <laughs> That's the end of Ian. We're gonna need another stim for this then. She hits hard. Oh god. What sort of defense is that? 
There you go. Deal with that shit. He's not coming to investigate? There you go. Shoot him in the dick. Yeah, dick shot. Dick shot makes it work. Done. Combat over. Well, we rescued a couple slaves. Gained a lot of XP, got a lot of loot. We lost Ian, but we'll go somewhere and we'll pick up a new companion. It's not the end of the world. He was pretty good, but he served his purpose. Yeah, she was just using a deagle. Deagle hurts. Uh, I'd really like to get my strength up so I could do deagle and submachine gun. Damn, you got some good... She's got a frag grenade here. I gotta dump something. Probably this other pistol. And the metal fucking armor. So good. So good. I don't even know how much it weighs. A lot. <laughs> A lot. Dump the flamer, I guess. Oh my god, it weighs like 30 some pounds. It's actually... Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, it's actually worse armor. How does that work? I mean, armor class is lower. But the, uh, I think this is damage reduction or something like that. That's better. It's got better damage reduction across the board. So I think you're more likely to take hits, but the hits all do less damage. It's better armor. I mean, I just know that as a fact. It's just curious. To, I've never really looked at the numbers. Uh, all right. The problem is it's heavy as fuck. So we're going to have to ditch some stuff. All right. We rescued some slaves, though. All in a day's work. Ian was using a leather jacket. Should have picked up some of that leather armor. Uh, I can't carry. Shh. It's so much ammo I can't carry. This ammo's heavy, too. Oh, but shoddy shells. You know we're gonna get a shoddy at some point, so we might as well. Alright, we definitely need to uh, get to a, a settlement where we can do some serious trading. You know what that means. We're going to the hub. This guy? Seriously, dude? I wiped out the entire camp? You're gonna fuck with me? I missed. But, um, yeah, see there, I took no damage. Being at this point, having metal armor, clearing out the raider camp, we're doing pretty well. This guy will start up a fuss. Shoot him in the dick. Don't waste any time. He's got a big hammer. Thinks he's a real badass. Until you shoot him in the head. And then he says, what the fuck? I actually knocked him unconscious. But we gotta kill him. It's XP, man. What do you... I mean... And he steals from people. 
which is not what I do because I am honorable. All right, let's continue on. Find a new companion to sacrifice. We're going to the hub. The hub is pretty far, though. It's down here, so we're bound to run into some shit along the way. Could go to Junktown first, but since I know I want to do some serious trading, might as well just go straight to the best. Oh. Nice. I don't like going in at nighttime, though. There we go. All right, the hub. I wish I could, like, zoom out and show you the whole place, but... Alas, it's not that kind of game. Deputy Tony Fry. A newcomer, welcome to the hub. They reached the biggest city on the coast. Heck, maybe the biggest city in the world, for all we know. Thought you were part of the caravan. Did you come in with them? No. That's surprising. It's been pretty rough out there, especially with the missing caravans. But you're safe now. Just stay away from the Maltese Falcon. They're a bunch of troublemakers, Decker and his crew. Who's Decker? He owns the Maltese Falcon in the merchant market, but I wouldn't associate with him if you want to stay out of trouble. He's nothing but a murdering animal, but the sheriff won't let me arrest him without proof. Hmm. Uh, what was that about missing caravans? It's a tragedy, really. Some caravans have turned up missing. Butch over at the Fargo Traders is offering a reward for information or something. You should check out the merchant market if you're interested. Uh, where can I make some money? Why, that would be in the merchant market, a few miles south of here. Two of the caravan houses are located there, third is further south. Recommend the Fargo Traders. Do you know where I could find a water chip? My vault's chip malfunction, we need another immediately. Water chip? Well, I've never heard of one. If it has to do with water, though, you should talk to the water merchants. Their headquarters are located further south, past the downtown area. Alright, south it is. Not much to do in the entrance, but here you see some real badasses. Police officers wearing that, like, combat armor. That's what we gotta get a hold of next. So we got the Crimson Caravan, we got the General Store, here's the Maltese Falcon. Uh, the FLC. Some other store, here's guns. Well, that's where we want to go first, because we want to sell and buy some guns. This guy's talking to me. What you doing in the hub? Looking for something I need. Well, we all got needs. I need him some information. Okay, uh, anything you know about water chips? You think I might know a little more about those water chip things, huh? Well, you might be right. It's going to cost you, though. I think 500 bottle caps ought to do it. <sighs> Too rich for my blood. I mean, he might actually know something. I don't remember. I kind of doubt it, though. It sounds pretty fishy. All right. Guns, guns, and guns. Want to buy something. Good. Let's trade. <laughs> we can buy BBs. Here's the shotgun. Straight up. Double barrel. So you got you got two shots before you need to reload. But, you know, you do an aim shot, you reload, aim shot, reload. The problem is... I don't know how much strength it requires, because it doesn't say... So I very well could buy it and then not be able to use it, which is very annoying. Uh, let me see if that information is available online. Although, you know, we got all these mods. Strength required four, I believe it. Okay, so we can't use the shotgun. Um... Let's see here. I mean, obviously we want power armor just to increase our strength. But... Might have to just take a perk.
I don't know. Brotherhood of Steel can perform an operation or increase strength by one. But the fucking Brotherhood of Steel in Fallout 1? I don't remember. I don't remember how to get to join up with them. They are. Uh, Brotherhood of Steel. The steel. Hmm. <laughs> uh, okay, well, for now, let's just assume I can't get the shoddy. So let's just get caps. We'll trade gear for caps. It works. Um, I don't really want to dump all this 44 Magnum ammo. Could be useful. That's uh, too much. And you get good prices for pretty much everything. <laughs> there you go. And one more. There we go. Done. Alright. Uh, how does someone make money around here? It's a job post in the center of the merchant market. Okay. Bob's Iguana Bits. Here's the bulletin board. Need work? The Fargo traders are currently filling the following positions. Caravan guards must be in good physical condition and dependable. Special position must be observant and willing to travel in dangerous territory. Weapons and ammo are required for all jobs. Inquire with Rutger at the Fargo trader's office. All right. What is the FLC? Lorenzo the Munificent at your service. He gives out loans. Only 10% daily interest. Maximum of 10 days to repay. Hmm. What about those missing caravans? Death Claw, it's gotta be the Death Claw. What about the Death Claw? Man, some of the stories they say about that thing are just... Well, there's something. Hmm. Okay, and just sort of flick through these options. All right, seems nice enough. Good check in at uh, the Maltese Falcon. Here's Kane looking for a water chip. Water chip, never heard of it. We only sell drinks. Go see Bob's Iguana Bits if you're hungry. It's an electronic device that regulates the filtering system of a water purifier and monitors the output for any contamination. Mine's broken. I'm looking for a replacement. Do <laughs> I look like a merchant? Okay, need to talk to Decker. Uh, job. Who sent you? Lorenzo. Good. Follow me. But keep in mind that it would be in your best interest to keep anything that's said to you to yourself. So, God. You're looking for a job. How fortunate. I have one that needs doing. Ah, but where are my manners? What's your name? Taco Beat. Well, the pleasantries are now concluded. Do you wish to hear about the job? That's why I'm here. Background. There's a certain merchant who's... How to phrase this? Not cooperating fully with the underground. Is that Keith David? Uh, yep. <laughs> it is Keith David, of course. Being especially raspy. Quite simple. Hunt down the merchant and his wife, and exterminate them. How much for the job? It's standard pay. 500 caps to start. Another 2,500 when the job is done. Will you do it? Yeah. Very nice. 
The merchant lives in the Heights, on Barter Street and Thunder Avenue. Your initial pay will be handed to you on your way out. All right. Merchant and his wife live over to the west from here. They're on the corner of Barter Street and Thunder Avenue in the Heights. He'll probably have guards. Try to be quiet about it and be sure you aren't seen, but if anyone does happen to see you, make sure they don't live to tell anyone about it. Once you finish your little errand, come back here. One more thing. Don't even think about going to the police. That's the worst mistake you could ever make. If you can, try not to attract their attention when doing your work. They can be quite a pain sometimes. Well, you know I'm curious, so let's go to the police. And let's take them all away in a paddy wagon. Not the standard police officer, though. We gotta talk to the deputy. Only he can handle this stuff. I have a crime to report. Uh, talk to the sheriff. Okay. And where's the sheriff? Probably not here. Probably gotta go a little further in. The sheriff will sort this all out. That's what he does best. There's the, there's the police. Alrighty. We'll get this sorted. Hello, ma'am. My name's Justin Green. I'm the sheriff of this fine city. I have a fine crime to report. Decker tried to hire me to kill some merchant and his wife. You're kidding. Well, uh, did, did he ask you personally? Yes. Excellent. I had already heard from other sources about his plan. You're the final confirmation I need to take action against him. This is going to be rough, and I can use any help I can get. I can pay you 1,300 caps. 300 now, and the rest when we're all done. What do you say? It'll be a pleasure. Leave as soon as you're ready. All right, I'm ready. Oh, God. He just fucking throws a knife at me. Hmm. Wait. <laughs> you went in with me and one guy? Kane was hitting the dick for two damage. That's not good. I think we're a little outmatched here. And uh, they all hate me because I ratted on them, apparently. Alright, hold on. We'll get there. There we go. He lost an eye. That's more what I expect. He threw a knife into Kane. That's good. Yeah, I'm dropping bodies. Ah. up and through that. Pain is still on the ground. Alright, slowly... Oh, God. That hurt. Oh, that hurt more. I missed. Alright, I don't like this ogre in front of me with a fucking... There we go. He's still standing. Jesus, Kane is a fucking monster.
Stay down. Oh my god. This is brawling. I'm gonna use another stim. Don't worry, it'll all be worth it. Well, there goes Deputy Fry. God, the sheriff. Oh my god. Got this old fuck walking towards me. Two damage with a headshot. Ow. Oh my god, Kane is insane. <laughs> what the fuck? That guy is a super mutant. Holy shit. All right, let's chill on that for now. My God, that was monstrous. All right, here's the water merchants. Pay them a visit. Uh, not here, of course. In this door. Not the open door. The closed door. Uh, do you have a water chip? Hmm, those old vault purifying control chips. Well, I'm sure I speak for the entire time when I say you won't find one here. Without the proper equipment, they're worthless. Only a vault or maybe Necropolis would have any use for one. Why do you ask? Necropolis, why would they need one? Well, it's just a guess, really. We tried to start a caravan route to Necropolis once, but they refused to trade with us. Nobody in their right mind refuses water these days unless they have a reliable supply. I figure they must have their own purifier. They would have died out a long time ago. So you're looking to have us go up to your vault? Yes, how much is it going to cost me? Well, it's quite a distance away. 2,000 caps should cover the initial caravan, and I'm sure your vault will have stuff to trade to keep us going for a while. However, with our current reserves, I'm guessing we're only able to keep your vault going for an extra 100 days or so. How about 1,000? No. Yeah, all right. Alright, so if anyone's looking for our vault... Yeah, alright, we'll hold off for now, because I still have plenty of time. But that's where you can extend the duration of the timer a little bit. Alright, ba 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 And here's some interesting stuff going on. Why do you disturb an elder of the cathedral? I'm interested in your church. I want some information. Do you have any pamphlets? Continue to mock me, and I will have you thrown out. I'm not mocking. Honest. Why are you here? What would bring you to the children of the cathedral? I'm a seeker of knowledge. I would like to learn more. Are you a child? I wanted the children of the cathedral, no. Are you interested in converting to our faith? We can offer you what no one else can. And what's that? A lifetime of contentment. Fulfillment in the knowledge you're working to rebuild the planet and make it a better place for those who follow. Sounds very interesting. Could you tell me more? I seek fulfillment. You are in the right place for spiritual fulfillment. The children of the cathedral seek a peaceful resolution of our world's problems and could use your help. What are the children's plans for mutants? Those that can be brought into the fold shall be. Those that resist will suffer. Sounds like a tough job. Perseverance. 
the children can accomplish anything. We will not fail. Blessings of the Holy Flame to you, my child. Who's the Holy Flame? There is no one greater than the Holy Flame, and we are his servants. Really? Wow. So what's the reason for someone to join your order? Lifetime of contentment. Mm -hmm. You are mm -hmm. in the right place. How can children find peace in this wasteland? Perseverance. The children can accomplish anything. We will not fail. We don't. The okay. Yeah, I mean, we could slaughter all of them, but probably not the best idea. Hmm. Hmm. Tell me about your work. Your bodyguard. Okay, what an asshole. Alright, uh, uh, yeah. Not a whole lot else to do here. Talk to the Fargo traders, see if we can't get a job with a caravan. Um, uh, here about the job that was posted. Yeah, all right, let me talk to Butch. Old man. I need to ask you for questions. Time is money, chit chat is not money. You hear about the job or what? Who is this voice actor? Hmm. Oh my gosh. That's Ron Perlman. Hot damn. Someone with guts. Done and done. Go talk with my second, Rutger, and get the details. Yeah, now that I know that, I can hear it, but that's surprising at first. Okay. Job pays 500 caps when you can tell Butch exactly what has been happening to all the caravans that have disappeared recently. So collect any proof you might find. I personally think it's those damn water merchants or those gun freaks at the Brotherhood of Steel. Butch thinks it's some claw of death or something. Check with Beth. She would know more about that. What's the Brotherhood of Steel? They worship technology or something like that. They have a hell of a lot of firepower. They could easily take out a caravan. They're to the northwest. Okay. Yes, the Brotherhood of Steel. That's who I want to get associated with. Now he says to the northwest. It's a little vague, isn't it? Are they in the hub? I'm not sure. Let me save again. I don't know if they're... I thought they were. Let's see here. Just looking at, like... The uh, population. Hmm. They're at the Lost Hills. So I guess we could just wander northwest, see what we find. Or not. This is Junk Town, I believe, right? Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, Junk Town's cool. Obviously, familiar with Junk Town. Get to that. Where the fuck is. Hmm. Oh, the other side of the mountain. Okay. Not this. This. This is the Brotherhood of Steel. Yeah. 
There they are. Badass. The Brotherhood of Steel. May I ask your business here? I'd like to join. That's great. Uh, wait, wait here a second, and let me see what you need to do. Uh, well, I, I talked to the High Elder, and he said that not just anyone can join. He uh, said you have to complete a quest first. Like what? You have to go to the ruins of the Ancient Order that's south of here. Uh, you've got to go inside and bring back something that proves that you were there. Okay. You'll do it? You will? Great. Just bring it back here. Good luck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This is not gonna go well. This is what I remember. I remember it being kind of a bitch. But we'll give it a shot. Because we want to join the Brotherhood of Steel. Oh my god, it's just that whole like, gang of people in power armor. It's so random! I mean, I guess we're near the Brotherhood of Steel, but... All right, so we're going to the glow. Uh, it's called that due to the massive amount of radiation. Yeah, okay. The water supply continues to deplete. And we got gangsters. And I was one shot. And that's Fallout. Thank you for playing. Ah, uh, yeah. We're getting into sort of trickier territory here. Yeah, obviously, your location on the map determines what sort of random encounters you get up to. So. Hello, and welcome to the... That's great. Uh, well, I, I have to go to the... All right. Give this another shot. I don't even know if we'll be able to handle the glow. I imagine not. Lone traveler in the distance. Need to find a water purification control chip. Uh-huh. So what's your story? Wander from place to place, making a living with music and a little bit of tinkering work. What kind of work do you do? Think you could fix a water chip? Yeah. Well, does he have anything to barter? He's got super stims. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those heal big. Those are kind of nice. Probably pay a pretty penny for those. Not too shabby, all things considered. Just do that. Yeah. All right, I'll definitely take a couple super stims. I'll save, because that's a good encounter. Continue on to the glow. Our movement speed is sort of based on the terrain we're on as well. Well, I survived that shot. <laughs> Destroyed his weapon. Probably wasn't a great weapon then. No. Oh. It's just on the edge of ending. All right, evaded. Continue on to the glow. Oh yeah, we're going, we're going deep. We're going deep to get to the glow. Yeah, I know. Don't worry, once we get in the Brotherhood of Steel, it'll all work out. No, oh my god. Yeah, so these are, uh... 
floaters and the uh I thought this was a centaur with Either way, they never brought these back. There's concept art, which I used in my SCP-610 video. But uh, they never really brought these things back. They're pretty fucking disgusting. I mean, this is what you think of when you hear just like radiated mutant monsters. Just disgusting. So, yeah, you know, we're getting, uh, we're getting dicey down here. Alright. Oh, God, another one. Yeah, yes. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay. We're gonna finally make it there. My skin is red and tender because I am very irradiated right now. Uh, yep, irradiated. The more rads you have received, the more deadly the effect. Going over a thousand will usually mean certain death. Um,. Which is odd, because I don't know where it shows your exact number. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Just, yeah, don't go over a thousand. Yeah, I don't know. Alright, there's the glow. Uh, yeah, I think we need a rope, actually. Yep. We also need a rope here. And we're getting, like, increasingly radiated. So, that's, uh, that's that. I don't know why I didn't buy a rope in fucking the hub. It's because I'm a bit of an idiot. Um, I think we can go back to the Brotherhood of Steel now and say, like, Dude, what the fuck? It's a massive pit of radiation. But, uh, yeah. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Probably better off just going back to the hub, buying the rope. Probably going to Vault 15. That's a little bit more manageable for us right now. I don't know if I'll be able to handle the glow and, uh,. I don't even know if the radiation goes away. After a certain amount of time. You can buy rat away, which will remove it. Um, yeah, go downtown. Let's go to the general store. Like to buy something. So here's Rataway. That removes radiation. Here's the rope, super stims. Uh, first aid book, dealing. Okay, uh -huh. big, 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 big. Geiger counter detects the presence and strength of radiation fields. 27 stims. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, we definitely want uh, the Rataway. No doubt about that. It's expensive, but we're going to need it. We also want... Let's go with two ropes. Yeah, don't worry. I'll... 
I'll clean this up. I don't know if I'll have quite enough money, but we'll see. Yeah, and then uh, just add uh, whatever that number is, 604. Done deal. All right, we'll leave it off there. Doing all right. We lost Ian, but all things considered, we're doing all right. We got the ropes. Uh, we took an unnecessary amount of radiation. I don't know how you tell how much radiation you have. Uh, it's like if you told someone, like a doctor told someone, well, you know, uh, you don't want your radiation level going over a thousand. Without telling them what, you know. Any more info than that. Doesn't mean anything. Um, you, ha you have to use a Geiger counter to check. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, so, um, there are down, I mean, obviously there are downsides to radiation poisoning. Uh, your stats begin to drop, and you can eventually die, of course. Um, either by your stats going to zero, which my strength would uh, go to zero fairly quickly. Um, I would not even make it to a thousand radiation. And then if you do get to a thousand radiation and your stats are not zero, uh, you have 24 hours to get below a thousand or you die. Um, and the only way to really remove it is right away. Um, you can get addicted to Rataway, actually, so you, you don't want to fuck around with radiation too much. Yeah. It takes a little time to work, so we could actually tick ahead four hours. See if we're still irradiated. Uh, we are. A little bit's livable, though. I'm not gonna sweat it too much. Alright, so, yeah. Good stuff. My name is Mang. Game you're watching has been Fallout. See you fine folks in the next part.